all right hello guys this is our punky here and uh, i just want to talk about the news that's been going around uh from ea about this uh, studio that has been drastically killed uh visceral studios was it like that and uh i'm gonna give you my thoughts about it um it's it's not because um you know uh i i feel it's because of how they did it it's it's, it's totally unacceptable um if you don't know what this is it's uh the are the creators of uh dead space and other type of games like uh uh dante's inferno also and uh and a lot of uh, movie license games back in the days. Um, damn, it's it's something that I do not like, and I really want this uh, one, you know, to get this out of my chest already. And the reason why I'm doing this video on my roof, you can see Costco right behind me. Not promoting it, but it's, it's right there about that but uh, since I have no light uh, I'm not going to uh, sweat dur during this video so I'm just here on my roof getting some fresh air uh, something different something that uh, I like but this studio got killed by EA it's its own big company uh, because they were doing a linear game but not just linear but single player game yeah. and th all this year it has been bothering me because even though uh, Phil Spencer also mentioned about the future of gaming being multiplayer it's just something that really pisses me off and multiplayer ain't everything. I mean, I'm a, I'm a type of gamer that plays everything. But, let's just start with this. I like, uh, I like single player games and that's my speciality, even though I like more uh, fighting games, which is also multiplayer, but, uh, something that is totally different from multiplayer are single player games whether it is uh, linear or open world or strategic uh, any kind the reason is that uh, why the studio uh, got killed because I have to say I, it got killed um, because of that because they thought that this is not gonna make money for the company, so we just gotta we gotta get out of here. And for uh, companies, you know, mind just going straight up uh, to their uh, to their perspective. Yes, they have uh, a valid reason, but not as valid as you know getting rid of a company that it's been there since the 90s getting rid of a company that's been there for years and the thing that, that I don't like it's that that's like the reason why they just throwing them out because of single player linear game for me single player games have more impact uh, than the multiplayer games. Don't don't get me wrong. I do play uh, multiplayer games, but stating that multiplayer games are the future of gaming. I mean, multiplayer has been since day one in the gaming industry, or since the Atari or the Famicom. I don't know what they're talking about. It's been there since both of those multiplayer and single player games been together and 
one generation in all generations of consoles here I have not all of the my games because I have a really big library of games but I'm going to show you um, linear uh, open world multiplayer uh, what else well this is going to start with Yeah, for those who don't like linear games, I like these. I like these both games. I like them, and that's for the fact of because of the story. Yeah, the story. It change. It changes the way I game. I don't always. I don't always have to shoot a guy the same way I shoot a guy in multiplayer. I know you're against AI here. I know you are against stupid, I mean, robots. But the fact that you have to change uh, the way you game on these games is, it's awesome. Unlike, it doesn't mean I don't play multiplayer games. I have these both and I have Paladins on PC and on the PlayStation 4 also. Even though this was a failure, I can still play with my girlfriend which is split screen and also uh, online. I'll get later to these ones. Now, there's a lot to talk about when if you want to do an RPG or a linear game, but you can also have multiplayer on single player games, type of games. I think most of all Tales of series have multiplayer games in it. And for the fact, if you hear the wind, it's blowing pretty damn hard. Uh, that's kind of wrong. Anyways, <laughs> um, there's, there's, there's a lot to um, ways to make single player games. RPGs or any any kind of games, you know This Star Wars game that EA uh, Visceral games if that's the company's name If if that's If that's an a linear game and it won't make money to you Why won't they just tell them we just make it open world and maybe do some uh, DLC costumes DLC uh, lightsabers there's a lot to to overcome a game to uh, to be creative with a with a linear game, and that is Star Wars. Star Wars is it's a huge universe that you can like make a lot of stuff in it. It was still gonna sell. It was still gonna sell well, and yet. Anyways, let's continue with. Yeah, I still have the sticker of GameStop here. But yeah. 360 game. For those who think that the Xbox One X or Xbox does not need single player games or really good IPs or exclusives games you're really good ones from the 360 something that I can't see from the Xbox one yeah this tales of you can also play co-op as two or four players These companies, these companies need to learn. This is just single player, but the fact that I'm showing you guys this is that it's about the story. It's about something that uh, these have meanings. These have something to tell. Even though, and I get all those people who are like, well, linear games, um, single player games, it's just like, I just play them and I just like, and I do it. 
I don't do anything with them after I beat the game. Yes, you're right. I cannot argue that. People have been saying that uh, for years, but now games are open world. A lot of games are open world. This is kind of like open world. It's a lot. It has a lot of loading screens, but still, now the multiplayer RPG that has been in a lot of years in Capcom and Capcom. Capcom, oh, damn, they survived. They did survive. Okay. A lot of people, yes, they do compare these two. And like, oh, which one's the best? Oh, it's just, they're both uh, single player. It's just a play and go. It just, I don't have to do anything with them after I beat the game. You're wrong, because they're, they're both open world games. You can explore, still explore, still fight enemies. You can, this is not linear, it's, you can go around, kill some dudes, uh, do something different. Unlike multiplayer games. Multiplayer games is just like, just kill a dude, Play with your friends if they have the time. I mean, I'm almost. Look, I, I'm I'm almost 26 years old. Most of my friends don't even have the time to play with me. Now I don't play multiplayer games without my friends. I want to play with my friends. Multiplayer. I can't play with random people. I can't. It's just me. I can't play with other people besides my friends. If I play alone, that will be like half an hour, maybe an hour, just playing a multiplayer game. But for these guys, I want to learn a lot more about the lore. I want to know a lot more about the world around this, these games. Now, for the fact that those people are saying that I don't like my games to look like movies. Movies. Just like the Zelda and the Breath of um, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm gonna tell you something. Whether it is anime, whether it is a film, theater film, whether it is a, a TV series or a Netflix series, those, those aren't the only ones who could... Hold on. Those aren't the only ones that could make a really good story. Games also have the rights to do a really good story. Good storytelling. I tell a story from a game. Right now, I'm getting a lot of boredness in series and even films films are not the same anymore well so what do i do to entertain myself they have story they're longer than a movie longer than a series there's other medias yes but well, this kind of media, this kind of uh, things that we, us gamers like, the, the kinds of gamers like me, like story-driven games, they just don't watch uh, more or less than movies. It's just like the story, the lore. I think it's just me. But it's a fact. Movies today. I'm not talking. I'm talking about the the commercials. The the, the uh, how do you uh, call them? 
movies like Transformers, movies like Marvel, movies like... Yeah, those kinds of movies. None of the, all of them are good. And so, these are the games that I just like, wow. This could be like... Movies one day. But since even movie licensed games sucks, I just want to stick with the game. This one right here, this gave me a lot of trouble of like, how do I do this mission? I know a lot of people don't like Phantom Pain, but I'm a fan of the Metal Gear franchise. And this game, this right here, it changed the, the way I game. It wasn't that same linear type of Call of Duty game that I just like. I just go straight around, uh, create a random strategy to kill a dude. No, this one, I need to go around. I need to, I need to, I needed to think straight what to do in a mission. That lasted like, I think it was episode, I think it was 40. I don't, I don't remember. Dang, I lasted like two hours doing a mission. Only one. That doesn't mean I'm a, I'm bad in this game. Is that the game is just like you 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 need to change your strategy, how you think about a a video game. Unlike I know, I know, I know all of you, some of you hate this, but still fun it's still you can also play co-op online it's still a single player but it's half multiplayer too there's ways to do stuff EA come on another single player and also co-op game sunset overdrive There's ways, there's ways. Two rare games. This is not as rare as this one, but they could complement themselves because they're in the same lore. They're in the same franchise. And I like these because of the story. I don't care how much I beat the game. I want to just play it again just like just like you play over and over a movie and you don't get tired of it because it's so good and even a movie is a lot shorter than a video game am I out of video games right now I know for a fact that single-player games uh, they don't make as much money as multiplayer games because of microtransaction a lot of more DLCs uh, you can still play them even though for this one uh, if you beat the story you can still play online there's ways you can still have a story in a multiplayer game there's ways to do stuff there's ways to do games you have to just be creative I'm going to still talk this in a podcast with my friends uh, sometime this week and let's see what they think Let's see what else do I have to say. Um, yes. About uh, linear games. Even though linear games are just like... It's just straightforward. But even though linear games are also successful. They have their own and their unique type of uh, fan base. They have a unique fan base. What do we do? We play and we play it again. Maybe we sell it back or we don't. Just like I'm doing with all these. I, I like physical copies. And I like to stay with them. Because they're, they're, they're part of my... They're part of history. They're part of something that... It changed the way I game. Something that it changes the way you game. 
for me, I still have a lot of PlayStation 2 games. Uh, I still have Xbox original games that I, I didn't uh, uh, put them in this uh, stack of games. But for all those, look, and I know that a lot of you Xbox fans, uh, you're... I know I don't want to insult you, but... Even those Japanese games like these were successful back in the day when the 360 had the lead. And I, I don't... I, don't, I even though I sound like a, a, a Sony fan or a Sony pony but Sony turned it around because Xbox was just trying to go with the freaking Kinect and they forgot about these kinds of games and I, I know I know that single player games you just come and like oh just play and it's just gonna sell it back on GameStop yes that's that's a fact I, I, I get it I totally get it but what Xbox is lacking right now and I, I'm not changing the subject I'm this is the same subject as this single-player gaming is still relevant today and Xbox needs that and all you fanboys were gonna say Xbox is just multiplayer based console and for Sony or for the single player just stop it please you sound like a freaking idiot unlike Sony does the same thing with multiplayer they both do the same thing Oh no, but Sony is just for single player. No, it's not. Look at these. Uh, what else? You just only have single player games here for Sony. But still. Still multiplayer. You cannot categorize something that Xbox does and Sony does and Xbox doesn't and Sony doesn't. It's just, it's just not. It's in, your argument is invalid. Something that it's been since day one in gaming. Single player and multiplayer started back in the days together. This is not the future of gaming, get it right. This, this was even, multiplayer was back in the 90s, back in the 80s, back in the 70s. Back in the Famicom. Jesus. You have to even go back. Now, the place and EA has, has been killing a lot of its own companies too. And this practice can now no longer be because it's because it's it's single player look here's a single player gamer too that likes single player games and don't have time for these I have time for these because I want to play alone I want to play with the game and learn from the game there's something to learn from single player games too because they have stories Simple as that. Don't ever categorize something that is just so irrelevant. Right now, Nintendo Switch is doing something that his that they're supposed to be doing a long time ago. Third party, such as multiplayer and single player games. They have you covered everywhere. Such as single player, they got shooters, they got RPGs. I've said this in, in a lot of podcasts back in uh, uh, in my gaming channel. 
but I, I'm going to upload this in my uh, channel this channel uh, I think it's uh, it's something that I really like to do to just point the camera at my face and tell you how I feel about this practice it's not cool you fanboys need to stop saying this shit and I'm sorry you cannot categorize something that it's Sony still has multiplayer games no Sony is only for single player who the hell Jesus Jesus in the morning gosh anyways keep on gaming that's that's this is it for this rant I play these two and they're just marvelous I hope one of these two is the game of the year or it could be Mario Odyssey who knows but I hope it's a single player game not like last year that for voting and for popularity this one won the awards it's unacceptable even though this has a lore but it's not in the game you get what I say? it's competition which randomly failed still has a story in it and it fits in a blu-ray disc now when they just make it here blizzard games has a lot of cool developers in it i mean they're creative too you know that's i don't i don't get it i don't get this generation at all really all right i just wanted to get it out of my chest maybe in the podcast i may see a lot more because this video is very long but thank you for listening thank you for uh uh watching this video and i hope ea learns the hard way as I, I don't like this or anything this is just a bad practice that ea is doing and maybe other companies are watching this and maybe they can do it too because they have the power to do it and the reason but even though if that reason is relevant or not they're just going to do it because money uh, a single player game say this I like single player games and I like the story and I like how I see stuff in a game alright people that is it for this video thank you for watching this has been Zara Punky and I'll see you guys later.